Hey guys, I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. That's so unhealthy. It was. You were like, I'm just going to go get half a dozen biscuits from Red Lobster for lunch. I don't need to go to Wendy's today. And I'm like, okay, that seems fair. <laughs> That's healthy. We were just in the back of her boyfriend's car and eat biscuits. <laughs> You fucking weirdo. How about that one time I was in the back of their car and they were breaking up and I was just eating my biscuits. Like, oh my God. He was crying. He's like, tell me no. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Do you guys want any of these? Do you guys want my biscuits? <laughs> and if the person who we liked was working there, we didn't have to pay for the Coke or the biscuits. Oh. That's why. But if we did, it was Coca-Cola. only like three bucks for both. That's good. That was back in 2008. Times are simpler. <laughs> 2007. Inflation. Yeah. It's definitely made biscuits. My biscuits. <laughs> so hot. Five bucks for biscuits? Get the fuck was out of here. Was that how much it was? It was like four fifty. Is that why you were like, no? Yeah. I'm not paying a Are dollar you... a biscuit. <laughs> Are you regretting it now, though? Yeah. Oh. I wish I would have had more. Although it was DoorDash, so they weren't as good. They didn't make it. No, but they were kind of soft and cold. <laughs> oh. It made them soggy. <laughs> He's so right. That's what happened. It made them soggy. <laughs> they weren't as crunchy. I like them. I like a crisp biscuit. <laughs> that's, my, <laughs> that's my band name. Crisp biscuit. <laughs> What's, What's up, up, everyone? everyone? Hello. hello. <laughs> that was a good hello. Was it? That was like hello. It was very in unison. I felt like yeah. Hmm. We were there. We were feeling mm-hmm. each other spiritually and um, vocally. <laughs> vocally. <laughs> yeah. We were vibrating right at the. Right spot? Yes. Sorry. We're, okay, if you guys listen to the song, You're Pretty. Well, it's by You're Pretty. What's it called? Uh, I think it's Just Keep Riding Me. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it's called? I think it's called Keep Riding Me. <laughs> it is called Keep Riding Me. I just showed Sierra that song for the first time, and now I it, it's taking everything out of me not to continue Keep singing me. it. So, But also don't listen to it with your children or grandparents or parents <laughs> around. <laughs> Anyone, actually. Literally. Listen to it alone in your car. Yeah. But listen to it. <laughs> but, and also loudly, <laughs> yeah. if you could. Get back to us. Yeah. Tell us how you feel. Yeah. And if you know, you already you know. know. You, you probably know. have it on. Anyway. um, So I don't know if you know this, uh-huh. but I have not been shaving okay. anything. Cool. For like a couple months. I appreciate that. Like I showed up. Let me see your pants. <laughs> no, I, well. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. 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 So. <laughs> I, I was like, you're being really brave in this tank top, and I'm here for it. <laughs> no, well, no. So I would have, but yeah. because I wore a tank top to our live show and I hadn't shaved my armpits. No, I'm so proud of you. That wasn't intentional, but like, I also don't necessarily care. Yeah. Anyway, so I showed up to our cousin's wedding mm-hmm. with like f- such hairy legs. Yeah. And someone was talking about hosiery and they're like oh i gotta wear my hose just in case my stubble blah 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 and i look down and i'm like oh fuck my leg hairs are long long (laughs) and my legs are partially out like it wasn't even a thought in my mind i completely forgot that i had yeah leg hair yeah or that like i cared about it no because why should you i didn't (laughs) but then i was like you know what this is getting to be a lot i should probably just like give myself a once over for at least the next couple months for of hibernation. That's what I do. So I had to get like a four pack of razors. I was going to say, I'm how like, many razors <laughs> did you go through? <laughs> I'm going to go through a, a, a few of these. And so I do my legs and I do my armpits and <laughs> I did my nipples. <laughs> and then, so did you do your whole stomach? Cause I do. No, I've never shaved my stomach. But cheeks. I've never, I've still never done my butt cheeks. I don't feel like I do the crack of the cheeks. I'm a little afraid. I'm a little afraid, especially because I'm laying down. Oh, you're in the tub. <laughs> I'm in the tub. I'm, I'm like, down. why are you laying in the shower? You lay in the shower. You called it a I shower bath. I don't shave while I'm laying. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So anyway, then I go down to my nether regions. Sure. Okay. My creepy bikini, if you will. <laughs> sure. And I. <laughs> so i don't i'm just gonna tell you guys about my pubes i've told you about my pubes before oh my god if that's not what this podcast is built on <laughs> so i don't oh, i'm so sorry mother-in-law <laughs> and dad <laughs> oh god skip ahead like two minutes 
So I am going, I, I don't shave her bald, okay? Because that's too much, that's too much friction. I think I've talked about it before, but it's too much. It hurts. Skin on skin, it's yeah. not fun. Yeah. So I leave a little something, yeah. you know, to, <laughs> to take the impact. <laughs> <laughs> to cushion the blow. I do, yes. Sure. But but it was getting a little Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> it was, I understand. Okay. <laughs> so I have I have this razor that like um I do for my unibrow. Yeah, and got, I was like it's the trimmer. <laughs> yeah. It's the trimmer. <laughs> it is. So I was just gonna take a little bit off the top. <laughs> Okay. Give it a nice fade. <laughs> yeah, give it a, give it a, the old high and tight. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure. So I'm just standing there <laughs> with a hand <laughs> full of pubes. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. So I, <laughs> Were you in the sh- bath? Well, I What's stood happening? Up, I stood up for this part. That was the last thing I did. Because the- I wasn't going to like sit in my pubes. <laughs> <laughs> so I let that be the last thing I did. That's a good idea. So, oh, we just went straight in, didn't we, guys? Hold on, wait. I'm just picturing because I know myself uh-huh. when I'm, I'm full on. I'm still <laughs> acting like I'm holding it right I'm now. Still holding this my is pubes. so I don't forget where I'm at in the story. Go ahead. I've had moments in the tub where I've full sh- body shaved uh-huh. and then I get up and let the water go out, but it goes slow. So there's a, <laughs> a ring around my pubes, if you will. <laughs> okay, well, go so on. So I am. I'm holding my pubes and I look in the bath and all of my leg hair and armpit hair and nipple hair is just like <laughs> floating about. Well, I've emptied the tub. So it's just oh, like coating like a shag carpet <laughs> on the bottom of the tub. And so it's all- always like stuck up the sides. <laughs> So Ollie has this little like whale thing that we used to like rinse his hair out. Sure. And so I'm like, I'm just going to fill that bad boy up and just, just rinse her down, yeah, rinse her down. But I'm, I do this while I'm still holding my pubes. Okay. <laughs> so I rinse it and then I remember I'm holding my pubes <laughs> and I toss them in the bath. <laughs> and I'm like, oh fuck, now I need more water again. And so I go get more water and I dump it in the pubes as one collected <laughs> thing just go zoop on one side of the drain i'm like motherfuck so i get some more water and i dump it it goes zoop to the other side of the drain and i'm like no you don't so i get more water oh, no, you don't. and i dump it again and it splits it too <laughs> and it was zoop on either side and i'm like this motherfucker's playing with me oh, oh. your pubes got jokes <laughs> they do have jokes <laughs> Have you ever seen that one video of the coin that's supposed to go around in the funnel <laughs> down into the hole and it just never goes? Yes. That was my pubes yesterday. I did finally get it in and then I remembered I could have just put it in the toilet. <laughs> I was going to flush those bad boys like a normal person, but alas. Oh my God, that is not. so funny. Wow. So. I got nothing that good. <laughs> I have nothing funny that happened to me that was that good. <laughs> As I'm as I'm watching this happen yesterday, I'm like, is this is this a story I tell the internet or no? Because it feels it feels too good not to share with the world. I have so many. Because someone else has had this happen to them. <laughs> Maybe not that exactly. You think that exact? Oh my god! The, when it fucking split into two, I'm like, <laughs> are you two fucking with me? <laughs> are you fucking with me? <laughs> That's what it felt like. Oh my god, that's good. So anyway, my Zoloft is really working. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, this is fun. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad with this. Should I give a med update? I guess I don't yeah, want to talk yeah. about it like every single week, but um, I have I now. I think the first couple weeks are important. Yeah, I've been on it officially a week. Good deal. And I have done several things that in the past have induced anxiety, and the fact that like within the last week, our um. We're transitioning from one platform to another for our exclusive content, and that got set back a little bit. And then our super apologies. It's coming. Don't worry. Yes, the people who are freaking work- out, we will give you the link. I promise. We're working on it really, really hard. And same with merch. Like yeah. the merch site imploded. If you guys are on the fans page, you already know what's going on. But like that was a whole fucking shit show. So like I've been dealing with that behind the scenes and taking my kids to the doctor, going to the grocery store. Oh, my God. Um, I baked with my kids multiple <gasps> times. I cannot do and baking with toddlers, so kudos. I Zola, I'm <laughs> telling you. Yeah. And then Shane <clears throat> is helping out a friend, and he is playing the drums uh, for them. And so he had rehearsal two times this week. So two nights in a row, 
I was like soloing it, I guess, and yeah. like putting the from with the kids from sun up to bedtime. It's a lot. And I have a whole new appreciation for single parents yes. because holy shit. It's a lot. Holy shit. But yeah, I have not lost my temper. I have Aww. not like Sierra and I have talked about before that there's like a version of ourselves that is like a whisper yell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that again <laughs> yeah i haven't done that in a while that's good uh, well i haven't done it since i started it and yeah. again i know this is the beginning the only uh symptom i'm noticing is fatigue but other than that I'm f- i feel like that's a big depression thing too though so who knows if it's just still a depression my thing or- diet is also shit though that's and true. and my hours my sleep is not great so right. like i don't know and you have two small children right it's hard to say Who's the culprit what's, here? <laughs> what's really getting the, yeah. That's like whenever I got my vaccine and I was like, I'm really fatigued, but I was also like 12 weeks pregnant. I'm yep. like, could also be that I'm <laughs> could also in be the that. first trimester yeah. still. So. Yeah. so anyway, so far so good. Well, good. I'm glad it's working for you. Mm-hmm. I've had thoughts of potentially <laughs> getting right on that yeah. as well, because I'll tell you, uh, I think the, the postpartum depression and anxiety is creeping in uh, yeah. potentially a little bit. So... Got to talk to a, a doctor about mm-hmm. that. I'm not sure if I want to try medicine or not, um, but it wouldn't hurt, I think, at this I've, point. This is my first time ever being on any kind of medication. And like I said before, I almost wore not having medication like a badge of honor. Like I right. was weirdly proud of myself. Yeah. And not even just for my mental health, but like for- Any meds. Yeah, like aspirin. Yeah. Shane, I would have excruciating back pain or migraines where I was like nauseous and dizzy. Be like, I don't need it. Yeah, and Shane's like, can I get you some Excedrin? And I was like, no. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> I can power here to die. I can power through. <laughs> yeah, but it was like, why? Yeah. Why are you living your life why put in yourself in pain, pain if you don't have to? Yeah, and, and I did have a fear. I did have a fear of how my body was going to react because you know the, all of the stories. Um, and also thank you that no one has flooded yeah. me with terrible stories. Everyone's just been really good supportive. Things, and that's so, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys. You're the best. Yeah. I appreciate it. What were you going to say? You were on the track of I thought, was? though. Yes. <laughs> you said um, you were nervous about taking aspirin and things because of. No, I was nervous about taking. Um... Oh, Zola. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mental health oh, good, medication. Good. I thought you were uh, saying that you no. were nervous taking like aspirin and shit. No, with aspirin and stuff, um, that was just like <laughs> I wanted like to tough minute. it out be- yeah. to show people uh, that I was like hard or something. I got gotcha. you. I love showing people that I'm hard. <laughs> Do you guys want to see how hard I am? <laughs> yeah. I'll fucking show you. <laughs> well, good. Um, I'm glad that yeah. that's working for you. Do you want to know what I've been doing? Because yeah. um, until I get medication, I've just been... I can't watch New Girl again. I'm all... I was on my fourth time. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like one have too many Have you started in a row. Love Island? No, I'm sorry. Because I also have this thing. Okay. Guys, tell me if this is an ADHD thing. I'm sure it is. But I'm like at a weird place right now where I can't have too much change. And new okay. things because I like comfortability. Yep. So I am watching trashy reality shows, but I have to watch ones I've already watched. So Jersey Shore? Not. Nah, I was watching Too Hot to Handle and fucking what's the one that we watched again with Jessica? Oh, I'm watching that right oh, now. Love is Blind? Love is Blind. So I've been watching those two, binging them. I almost. And I have to say something. Okay. I'm sorry, Cameron. I'm sorry for the serial killer slander. <laughs> I have to apologize. Do you because, not feel that way anymore? No, I think the reason why I felt that way is because he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just, Your I face? haven't watched it again. So I'm like, what did you see the second time that you watched it that is no longer giving you serial killer vibes? I think it's just that I know him now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Since I, when? I, I watch them on social media, the Hamiltons. I think they're okay. cute. <laughs> Hanging with the Hamiltons. Yeah, yeah, I think they're cute. Okay. But I think what it was is that Cameron No, I no very... longer think he's a serial killer, but no. like he was not portrayed no, he well. Was, well, that's exactly it. And I think yeah. um, in my life, I've never seen an emotionally mature and calm man Mm. unless he was trying to be manipulative yes and so when i saw like, this whole walking like, red flag isn't it yeah you're not really like <laughs> there's no fucking way you were one to kill her <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're the most dangerous kind of red flag <laughs> yes and like yeah. since it's been like three years i'm like oh he's just actually <laughs> like that he's yeah. just like a Yo, cool he's guy he's either playing the long game <laughs> 
or he's just fine. He's really going to be in a serial killer. <laughs> well adjusted. No, I think he's just a fucking good guy. I will tell you, though. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Not me. Yeah. Um, I think really the biggest red flag that is the rap that he does. I forgot that he raps. <laughs> He ra- oh, he does he raps rap. to her mom. Oh, no. And I watched it this time around, and I was like, because <laughs> I, wa- I want to root for you, Cameron. Keep but riding like, me. <laughs> Just keep, keep riding, riding me. me. <laughs> but also, yeah, um, I still have the same feelings about Jessica. <laughs> Ah, I do feel bad for her, though. I think she was portrayed re- really bad because I think the only time they chose to show her on camera, she was fucking hammered. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I've been there. Also, <laughs> every Friday. <laughs> you Tuesday. Know what when does this come out? <laughs> anyway, this is, sorry. This is a Thursday. <laughs> oh, fuck. Where are we? <laughs> I don't know. This is the longest day of my life. It really is. It's ridiculous. So, yeah. Um. I'm sorry, I have just keep riding me in my head and it won't stop. I'm really sorry. I, I hate should. that you did that to me right before this. I'm sorry. Just keep riding. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel bad that they portray they like chose to only show those. But yeah, they made Mark into this like lost little puppy. He was kind of creep, but he had some creep vibes too. Because he agrees with everything she's saying. And she says at one point, mm. I don't like that he's agreeing with everything I say because I feel like that's not genuine. Like, you're not going to always agree with me. She's yeah. like, I say I want to move to California. He's like, great, let's move to California. With no, you're from Chicago. You're cool. That's because he's 23. Up, I, 24. But yes. And she's 33. <laughs> yes. 34. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know. And when he's 34. She's so, going to be 44. <laughs> she said that. When I'm 64, you're going to be 54. He's like, yeah, we're going to be in our 50s and 60s. You're going to be old as fuck. What's up? What's up? <laughs> that is math. Anyway. Yeah. Um, and I, I also think it's because now that I've I've not ever been on TV, but I, I have a little <laughs> bit more of an appreciation of like a behind the scenes kind of thing. Yeah. They had to have set some of that shit up because, you know, they came into like. In the hotels and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're not always around. So they have to have a time when the crew comes in and then they're like, okay, be yourselves. That has to be Mm. awkward. I wonder how long they're there. Yeah. And I don't think. I I wouldn't think they had like a call time of like 20 minutes. Right. Where they're like, like, just dick off and we'll be there (laughs) promptly at 1220. I feel feel like they prompt them to do certain things. And then they just sit back and they're like, Mm. great. 30 minutes of footage in. Goodbye. And Jessica's just like feeding her dog (laughs) alive. And they're like, please, we don't want to get yelled at from PETA. (laughs) Yeah. Did they get mad about that? Because I feel like they should have. Maybe. Anyways. I gotta look up if dogs can eat grapes. Yeah. (laughs) Or drink them. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) When they're past their expiration. Is that how wine is made? Uh, There's fermenting. Sure. Definitely. I thought that was like expired shit. Mm -hmm. Whatever. No idea. Anyway, <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. That's I will awesome. watch Love Island though. What's it on? Netflix? Hulu. Got it. Okay. I'm there. There's so many fucking seasons. Don't start with. Is this going to be like an Are You the one. one thing? Because I could not get enough of that show. <laughs> kind of. Good. Yes. Good. Kind of. Okay. They have like. Don't start with season one though. You don't. Not of UK. You can pick a different one. Got it. If anything, I'll sit down and I'll like discuss which one I think you should start with. I think we but, should. So they start with like either five, it normally starts with five girls. And Mm -hmm. so the girls are just like chilling and waiting. And then the host comes in and she's like, hey, do you find this guy like hot and stuff? (laughs) If you do, step forward. Let him know, ladies. Oh, (laughs) I'm already hooked. The guy walks out and like sometimes no one fucking steps forward. (laughs) And he's just staying there like, no, that's totally fine. I get it. My (laughs) ego is not dying at all. Oh, no. Yeah, it's fucking harsh. And then, then the host is like, "So, ladies, why don't you like him?" <laughs> like right in front of him. And a lot of them are like, "Oh no, you're really nice, babes, but like, I just want to see other people <laughs> that so, don't have your face." <laughs> yes. So then she brings out like five different guys, and so people either step forward or they don't, and then they couple up, and so they're in a couple, and then they have to decide if they like each other or not, and then, but they can get to Based know anyone. Based on looks. 
based well they they can talk to them but they have to share a bed with them <laughs> no no but i mean right off the bat yes. it's based on yes 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 right off the bat on tinder based. in real life yes okay i'm here for you so then they get to like get to know each other there's games and stuff the games are basically pointless <laughs> okay great but that's how um, i thought about the are you the one i was like what are these fucking games for it, just for fun yeah. just to watch them run in slow motion <laughs> So Got then it. they have to like recouple and they have to stand up and be like, I'd like to pick this boy because <laughs> then they give this like really big speech and then they pick a guy. <gasps> but sometimes they don't pick their partner. They like switch it up and then there's bombs and the bombs come in and they're like, I'm stealing so-and-so's <gasps> guy. And like then people get kicked off. Oh, yeah. This sounds like exactly what I want to watch. Then midway through, there's something called Casa Amor. And they freaking take all of the guys and put them in a different house. Shake them up a bit. <laughs> and bring five new girls in. <gasps> and they're like, do you like any of these ones? And then after a few days, they're like, okay, do you want to stay with the girl back home? Or do you want to take one of these ladies back? <gasps> Whoa. And then same thing happens at the, with the girls back home. There's five new guys come in. They have to do the same thing. And then there's a recoupling. And so if so-and-so is like, I'd like to stay with Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sammy, sweetheart. <laughs> Your big toe. <laughs> Ron. Stop. <laughs> Ron, stop. <laughs> and he's like, no, I brought someone else back from Casa Amor. Unfucking comfortable. <laughs> and then other times people choose to stay together and then they run to each other and they oh. make out. Oh, I yeah, I gotta watch it. Yeah, you do. Oh my god, that's I can't wait. Stuff. Okay, well then, that's my next one. <laughs> I'm almost done with Love Is Blind. I've binged it in about two days, like I did the and first. There's time. like 50 episodes <gasps> well, a good. season because they Cause do it I every single day. Because I don't do anything but sit and watch TV and feed a child <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from my teeth. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. That's a lot. I have a question. <clears throat> okay. No, I don't. I forgot it. Oh, good. Gone already. And that's how quick my brain has been. I'm like, I'm actually nervous. About what? Is there like brain fog after a baby? Is that just yes. exhaustion? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I am like. That's called newborn yeah, stage. I feel like I'm losing brain cells. Yeah. <laughs> and it's scary. So They come back. Thank God. And Not a lot of them. Okay. Some of them. <laughs> I just need a couple to return. Yeah. I feel like I've lost like one or two too many. When you start to sleep again, they'll return. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting like two, three hours max at a time. Yeah. It's really kind of. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's true. I remember. <laughs> so let's talk about Christmas. What's up, everyone? It's. Uh... Well, we already did that part. <laughs> No, wait, no. Merry it's, Christmas, everyone. <laughs> it's Tuesday, and Christmas is Saturday. Saturday. Are all of your are all of your elves in a row? Oh, <laughs> are oh. all of your presents <laughs> under the tree and stuffed? Are your stockings stuffed? Oh, I am stuffed. Are all your nuts roasted? <laughs> I have been roasting my nuts for a week. I'm not done shopping. Um, yeah, I got most of mine done because this year I'm like not wanting to leave it to the last minute just because mm -hmm. it gives me anxiety to mm -hmm. be around people I keep especially now i keep forgetting that i've already got things yeah yeah so, me like too. shane and i just keep coming home with stuff or like we keep having amazon boxes delivered yeah and then we're like fuck who's this for and why and like didn't we already get them something <laughs> and how many how many presents do they have same yeah. I got so many things for my grandparents, but I'm excited about it because Aww. they deserve it. I, I love them so much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, the one thing I got that I really enjoyed, I got them a keepsake journal, which is Aww. like, it's got prompts. So it's for my children. That's super sweet. Mm -hmm. So I hope that they, it's for them. It's got like family tree information. And then it's like, what yeah. was your mom like? Um, what was your a good memory from your childhood? And they can write a little journal yeah. entry and then they give it to my kids someday. Mm. I know. Super cute. So I'm excited to give him that one. But Oh, I can tell. No, I can't. We're Never not there mind. yet. <laughs> Never mind. We're not Well, I was going to say what I got Shane's. Never mind. We're going <laughs> to just cut that out. Mm -hmm. um, I had a really hard time because people were asking me what I wanted. And I was like, I don't. I kept telling people I have everything that I want. I said, yeah. maybe like. A massage. <laughs> like it, I, have a me have a I have impulse day. problems, so yeah. if I want something, I just I get it. I just go and get it, or I 
erase it from my mind if it's not something that I can afford. That's what th- I was like. Can you just give me like an hour alone with <laughs> with no yeah. one talking or touching me? Yeah, unless it's a massage. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, that's really all. Because I, I also want. don't want more stuff to clutter up my space. That's my thing. Is yeah. like, please don't get me things that I'm not going to use. I'd rather just have like a moment where I can mm-hmm. take a bath by myself. Yeah, <laughs> without having a baby in there with me. So. Yep. That's all I want. I need to trim these pubes in peace. <laughs> oh, you no, know these pubes saying? are <laughs> wild. <laughs> I did it like one good time after the six weeks because mm-hmm. it was getting. That's when I shaved my butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Um, it was getting wild. And now I'm like, and in another six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Six weeks saw a shadow, did it? Yes. <laughs> six more weeks of. <laughs> I got scared. It was like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Who gives a shit? Honestly, at this yeah, point, I me. just don't care. I don't care. Okay, anyway. Do you remember the the time of the Starbucks cups? Well, do we want to tell them what we're doing? Well, that's what was my in- in- <laughs> That was my lead in. <laughs> oh, oh, sick lead in, honestly. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's the brain cells. <laughs> I'm this not week- at my peak. Well, I mean, technically, they probably already saw yeah, yeah, because yeah. of the title. This isn't a surprise. <laughs> We're talking about Christmas, Christmas controversies. controversies. Well, like, okay, this is our third Christmas. Yeah. Which is so crazy. Oh, wow, that is. Because we... It's we, only our two year, but this is our third Christmas. Yeah, it is. Yeah. We talked about the history of Christmas. Yep. We talked about... The history of Santa Claus. What the fuck did we talk about last year? What the fuck, dude? I think we just blew past it. Because that's when we were like, should we even fucking keep doing this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way to go we us for pushing through, honestly. We were just like... <laughs> yeah. Wow, what did yeah. we talk about last year? What was our Christmas episode? I don't know. I don't know either. We'll have okay. to look. Yeah. Um. But anyways, so... This, yeah, we wanted to talk about Christmas controversies. And yep. I think one of the biggest in our lifetime <laughs> was the Starbucks cups. The fucking Starbucks cups. They called it a war on Christmas. They, they, who's they? The, the Christians. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They said, like, multiple, um, you know, Facebook posts were going around. Yeah, that's, yeah, how, yeah. that's how all Christmas controversies <laughs> start <laughs> or end. But they were like, they're trying to take the Christ out of Christmas. And I love that Ellen DeGeneres said on her thing, she's like, you know, um, that we're trying to take away the snowflakes and the jingle bells, all the things in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro. Yeah. So Starbucks had an all red cup as opposed from like jingle bells or star, star yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> star flakes on roses and tickles on monkeys. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I don't know. I have, something's wrong with my brain. Anyways. So, for those of you who don't know about the Starbucks Holiday Cup. Yeah. Because that's if, in here. If anybody doesn't know. Essentially, like, as soon as, what is it, like, right after Thanksgiving? Is it Black Friday? Or is it, like, December 1st? Oh, it might be. I want to be- say it's in November. I was going to say somewhere between, like, Black Friday and December 1st. Yeah. Starbucks launches their holiday cup and it's yeah. always a red cup with some kind Something. of design. Yes. And one year they put out just a red, red cup. cup. It was just plain red. And they s- let out a statement saying like this is a holiday cup for like an inclusive holiday cup yes. for all holidays. Yes. Celebrated around because this time. Because there's so many different. That aren't just Christmas. Yes. Sure. And they've never put out like a Hanukkah cup that I know right. of. So, I mean, it was a nice, it, it was a good gesture. Right. And people fucking flipped out. <laughs> they were like, their goddamn minds. Fuck that red cup. I fucking <laughs> hate that red cup. <laughs> like, I want. I want to go buy 15 of those drinks and I'm going to light them on fire just to fucking show them. Well, I was reading like people's. <laughs> Big Facebook post where they're yeah. like sticking it to the fucking, <laughs> which I Thanks hate. For your money, light my cup on fire. I don't care. <laughs> well, I hate when people are like, I'm gonna go viral on Facebook and I'm gonna make a stand. And it's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. but shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> somebody was like, they asked what his name well, was, it's... and he said Merry Christmas, so that they would write it on his cup. And they took a picture and was like, Yeah, putting the Christ. Back in Christmas, it's like you fucking got him, bro. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're happy about that one. But like, uh, what did you say before that? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, oh, oh! You like trying to make a stand? Yeah. Like you're. If they 
hmm, how do I word this? So Starbucks literally said, this is an inclusive cup. And you were like, fuck inclusivity. <laughs> that's what you said. Yeah. That's the hill you want to die on? That's- fuck inclusivity? <laughs> Fuck everyone that's not a Christian. That's what yeah. it was. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then fuck you. <laughs> that's a bad look. That's my not dude. a good look. It's <laughs> a bad look. It's a very bad look. Um, you know what's just funny? Just mediocre white man on <laughs> Facebook who wants to. And the thing that's annoying is they try to go like viral. And guess what? That shit gets shared a million times, and then no one fucking remembers it. Like two <laughs> well, weeks later, except we are talking about it <laughs> on a podcast. I'm making years later. <laughs> but you fucking jackass i love that he said merry christmas on the cup like that was showing them he you was, literally could have said that <laughs> your name was ass baby <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> see more butts <laughs> peter dragon <laughs> ever heard that book that peter dragon wrote tracks in the sand <laughs> Sliding down the pole by Dick Burns. (laughs) You seen my boobs? (laughs) Oh, this is a new girl bit. (laughs) Yeah. It is. That's my favorite thing that they do. (laughs) What was the one they say? You know what? It's not important. Go watch that episode. It's funny. You seen my boobs? Anyway. Um, so I need a boner. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you know I need a bath. I need a <laughs> somebody to love. <laughs> anyway, more Christmas controversies. I know? have them for you. Okay. <laughs> you... Honestly, I think something's wrong with me. <laughs> Earlier when we were trying to get sound levels. <laughs> She, I was trying to get her to talk, and she would only answer in one fucking word, even though I'm she knew about, we were trying to get her level. I'm worried about what's gonna come out of my mouth. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> I just listen to myself talk, and then I'm like, "That was good. Good job, Sierra." <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna fucking think about that all night. <laughs> For sure. All right. So this is. From the web- website altchristmas.com. Oh, did I fuck something up? <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> it's for an alternative, weird, and unique Christmas. Hell yeah. It says. So this is Christmas controversies from 1945 to 2019. Okay. I got you. <laughs> so in 1945, we have Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my God. Do you know how long I've been wanting to talk to you about Donald Duck? Oh, really? <laughs> Yes. We've had so many opportunities. Why, why hasn't he come up? Okay, so Winnie Ollie... the Pooh is also Donald Duck. I'm sorry. They're the same person? No, no. I mean, <laughs> when you call it Winnie the Pooh, it's also Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, you're telling me <laughs> Winnie the Pooh and Donald Duck are the same person? Why didn't we talk about that in the fan theories? Anyway, no. so Ollie has this book, and it's a Disney, it's a compilation mm-hmm. of... <laughs> Every time I say compilation, I remember me saying compilation, and I get so embarrassed. Anyway, of a bunch of, like, short stories. Okay. And it's got, like, Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, Donald, Goofy, Pluto. Whole fucking gang. The whole gang is in there, okay? okay? But it's only stories about those five or six. Sure. And I try to do their voices. Oh, okay. (laughs) And so Mickey, I'm like, oh, boy. And then Minnie, I'm like, oh, Mickey, blah, blah, blah. And then Daisy. (laughs) Yeah, what's Daisy sound like? Daisy sounds like this. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, she does. And then, you know how Goofy sounds. No, I don't. (laughs) Goofy's like, sure. (laughs) And then Donald. I can't fucking do Donald. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I just go, ow, ow. <laughs> ow Mickey. <laughs> he sounds like a fucking convict. <laughs> he sounds like he just got let out of jail. <laughs> and he stopped at the first bar <laughs> on the way home. <laughs> he did. He, he did. was like, I've been in and I've seen some things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how anyone does this fucking voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm you just keep doing it. I sound like a mountain lion. <laughs> That is, if I was walking in the mountains and I heard that, not one fucking bit of me would be scared or think it was a lion. He's like, <laughs> I'm dying there. I'm dying there. Oh no. 
I'm sorry. I'm crying. <laughs> I have no. It's I'm not. So, no, it's so hard to it do. It is really hard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I God. don't want to listen to that back. <laughs> I was already so embarrassed that happened. I, there's never been an opportunity where I felt like I could bring that up, but like I've been thinking about it for months. <laughs> oh, so thank you. What's Pluto sound like? Nothing. He makes no sound. I didn't know that was a trick. <laughs> okay. Oh, sometimes he goes. Because <laughs> he's like it hurt yeah. or sad. <laughs> anyway, so Donald Duck. It was in a um book called silent night it was like a comic book oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> what just imagining donald doing anything in in reference to silent night <laughs> wow. the loudest night ever <laughs> <laughs> apparently he was trying to instill holiday spirit in the neighborhood through annoying christmas caroling <laughs> okay. but this leads to one of his neighbors torturing donald with a cattle prod <laughs> Oh my gosh. In this children's cartoon. There's a there's a picture. Okay. Um, and then a published version of the story that so they they took it down, obviously, yeah. because they were like, fuck this. But there is a published version of the story in the fine art of Walt Disney's Donald Duck by Carl Banks. It was released in nineteen eighty one. But the book is a collectible and will likely cost you about a thousand dollars or more. What? Yep. <laughs> to fucking see that shit. To see Donald Duck get prodded? tortured. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's probably why he sounds like that. <laughs> right. He never recovered <laughs> from that silent night. Well, that's rough. Um, number two is I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. The that, song. that song fucked me up. 1952. Yep. Uh, same. <laughs> I, it was like my first uh, experience with like an affair. And I was like, mommy is a fucking hoe. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> well, you weren't the only one that thought that. So, okay. It was recorded in 1952 by 13 year old Jimmy Boyd. Obviously. Have you heard the song? Yeah. But like a literal adult yeah. played tommy pickles that's true i've seen her recently on tiktok her she kids was, have a tiktok she was on the voice really uh-huh interesting she's doing so many big things good for you girl you freaking go that was a while ago but anyway okay <laughs> never mind i think you were saying something about the wild thor <laughs> i was like she fucking was on the wild no, okay. maybe i don't know <laughs> it's just an hour of us trying to do <laughs> Character sound. <laughs> Name that character. I don't think I did that bad on that. One. <laughs> you didn't. You fucking nailed it. I was pretty oh. proud, actually. I'm not embarrassed of that one. <laughs> okay. So this this the the song. If you haven't heard it, it describes a child sneaking downstairs and seeing his mother kissing a tickling Santa Claus. I didn't know the tickling bit was in there. I saw mommy tickling <laughs> Santa Claus that underneath the Christmas tree. Mistletoe. Fuck. <laughs> Which I heard actually was created from birds shitting in branches and it had seeds in it. And so stuff that wasn't supposed to grow there grew. And then. So we kiss like, under <laughs> shit sticks. <laughs> you know all those birds shit up there? I want you to kiss under it. Yeah. I saw it on TikTok, so quote me for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, <laughs> that's where fact. I get all of my news. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, by the way, Columbia Records recorded this, and it was the song reached number one on the Billboard pop charts in December of 1952, which is fucking wild yeah. to me. Um, the Roman Catholic Church, though, in Boston condemned the song due to its sexual contact. T- <laughs> contact. <laughs> content. Radio stations in the city banned it from their airwaves. They didn't say mommy's fucking Santa <laughs> Claus. Well, listen to this. So Jimmy, the 13-year-old, had to end up going to Boston, meet with church leaders, and tell them that it was actually the dad dressed up as Santa Claus. <laughs> and then the church lifted the ban. <laughs> what? Yes. Imagine. Imagine <laughs> being 13. a 13-year-old kid being like, hey. hey um. It's actually about it, their consensual partners. Not you even, guys know that Santa's like my, my dad, dad. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh God, I hope you're not listening to this in your car. Yeah, but with your children as well. No, it, Santa is Jimmy's dad. Yeah, Santa, <laughs> everyone knows Jimmy is Jimmy Claus. <laughs> yeah. That's just a fucking fact. 
<laughs> Don't be mad at us. No. I know we looped you in with all those Donald Duck sounds, and you thought this was a kids <laughs> episode, but, but it's not. No. Mommy's <laughs> fucking <laughs> ban me, uh, Catholic Church or whatever the fuck. <laughs> okay, so. In 1953, there was a comic book, again, so many comic books, called Panic. Um, it was EC, no, just Panic. Oh, okay. EC Comics released it, and the comic includes a parody of The Night Before Christmas okay. in it. Um, the story pairs the it original- It feels like Panic. Yeah. <laughs> the story pairs the original poem with satirical illustrations, including a sign on Santa's sleigh that proclaims, Just Divorced. <laughs> and the visions of sugar plums are dreams of Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell, <laughs> which I think is awesome. I like this. Me too. As an additional bonus, the comic book's cover shows Santa stepping into a bear trap. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> so, according to the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund, which I didn't know was a fucking thing, yeah. <laughs> but they have their own thing. The Massachusetts Governor's Council called for a ban of this comic book due to its pagan elements. Oh, fuck. Everything they do is rude and, and, and witchcraft, you get, dumbasses. Get rid of everything, then. Yeah. Sorry. Throw it all out. Christmas itself is has pagan elements. Right. You're fucking bozos. <laughs> I'm sorry. You big dumb idiot. <laughs> you fucking governor. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> governor of Massachusetts in 1953. <laughs> Don't come for me. <laughs> What's the over under that he's still alive? 53? <laughs> yeah. And he was definitely probably 60 then. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's gone. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Loser. <laughs> Although I'm so sorry for your children, someone who is related to is him, probably maybe. listening, and I'm sorry. He sounds like a fine person, and it wasn't him; it was his counsel. Yeah, so fuck his counsel. Fuck your counsel. <laughs> <laughs> and the horses they rode. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it is unclear what legal authority the council actually had for the ban. Regardless, most of these comic books were pulled from the stores in the Boston metropolitan area. You want to talk about cancel culture? So boring. Let's talk about the first people of cancel culture. Yeah. Jeez. Book oh, burnings. Yeah. You know where that uh, comic book would do really well is Spencer's. Oh, my God. It looks like it came from, like, yep. it literally looks like a Spencer's uh -huh. comic book. <laughs> yep. Um, around the same time in... In New York City, the police arrested two employees from EC Comics. The charge? Publication of obscene material. And it was that? It was that book. Oh, my God. The prosecution fo focused on the parody in the first issue, which, issue, which included a woman in a short, sexy dress. Oh but God. the judge quickly dismissed the charges. Thank God. He's, he was probably like, he's like, damn, she looks hot as hell. <laughs> That's my wife. <laughs> Everyone wants to see that. <laughs> Just keep riding me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there, there's that. <laughs> Apparently, oh. good for that judge, though. Yeah. He was probably so annoyed. Like, why the fuck did you bring this here? I have yeah. actual shit that I need to be doing. <laughs> yeah. You're pissed about this comic book being obscene? Yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> we Fuck know. out of here. Mm -hmm. So this one is um, the U.S. Christmas stamp in 1965. So on November 2nd, 1965, the United States Postal Service issued its fourth annual Christmas stamp. Um, designed by Robert Jones, the stamp, the stamp featured an angel blowing a trumpet. It was based. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> It was based upon a watercolor by Lucille Gloria Chab Chabot, I'm going to say is her last okay. name, of the 1840 weather vane that was on the People's Methodist, Methodist Church in Newburyport, Massachusetts. I think I had a um, ornament. That was and, like that? An ornament. <laughs> what you said? I think I had an ornament. I got an ornament. <laughs> an ornament. Um. <clears throat> that looked very similar to that. Yeah. So the angel was identified to the public as being the famous angel Gabriel. Okay. Um, but then the postmaster general received a letter from a concerned citizen in Connecticut who pointed out that the torso part of the figure is feminine. So the debate became whether oh. the angel was Gabriel or Gabriel. Oh, my God. And the issue makes the stamp one one of the most controversial in United States history. What? Over, over stamps. What? <laughs> yes. Over the over what? the torso part, which I don't... The Gender I it, identification it, of a stamp drawing? Right. It might look like it has 
breast, but uh. Well, that seems like something really weird for someone to hyperfixate on. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't. I don't understand people. So one letter was sent, and then I'm sure they had people also backing them. Maybe like, that's not what I think Gabriel looks like. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. I am just so happy that like Facebook and social media wasn't around for this stuff. Can because could you imagine how quickly they could have band together to for the stamp? It's a fucking stamp, like, and it's also. Not a real person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's an angel. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I was like, it's a saint. No, it was a fucking angel. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's so annoying. So, <laughs> I don't understand people. Okay, the next one is Christmas in Dreadland. Do angels have genders? I've never met an angel bro, <laughs> that I know of. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ever watched the movie Michael? No. It's about an angel. John Travolta's in it. <laughs> John Travolta, the angel. He's the angel. <laughs> yeah, surprise. I don't know if that's a spoiler alert. Is he Michael? He's Michael. Oh, Michael's the angel. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Um, I remember watching it when I was really, really young, so I don't remember that much about it. Don't get mad at me if I like. Said I know there was an something. angel in Greece that John Travolta was in during Beauty School Dropout. Yes. <laughs> Baby, forget it. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is all over the place today. <laughs> I can't wait to get on ADHD medicine. <laughs> okay, Christmas in Dreadland. Dreadland? Dreadland. So, okay, Judge Dread. Judge Dread. That okay. is fucking hard to say. This is in 1975, by the way. Mm-hmm. He was a reggae and ska musician from England. Cool. Um, he looks like this. Sick. Okay. Right. According to All Music, he held the record for the most songs banned by the BBC. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. He was also the first white musician to have a recorded reggae hit in Jamaica. Hmm. Um, Judge Dredd was famous for his not so family friendly lyrics. For example, in Christmas in Dreadland, which was a song in 1975, he sings Rudolph with his nose so cold and numb, but not the deers behind him. It's stuck up Rudolph's bum. <laughs> <laughs> and the BBC banned that from the radio. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I can see that. But like, what plays? <laughs> so. Well, I wonder if they were, yeah, couldn't It's just... a different time. It's a different time. But I wonder if that song came out now, if people would just like, let it go. I don't know much about the BBC. <laughs> so. Me neither. So the next one is the movie Silent Night, Deadly Night. It Why was is in that the... ringing bells? Well, this is what it looks like. Oh, that's scary. I don't want to look at that. <laughs> so, well, you're <laughs> not the show me your phone over. <laughs> you're not the only one. So, in 1984, the slasher film Silent Night, Deadly Night um, came out. It was about Billy Chapman. He was a small child who witnessed the murder of his parents by a criminal who was dressed as Santa Claus. And years later, the adult Billy is asked to dress up as Santa at the toy store where he works. That evening, while still in his Santa outfit, he becomes mentally unhinged and goes on a murder spree. That it's actually the sounds... suit. Yeah, it it make it you know. It's like Tim Allen. Once you put on the suit, you have to murder people, <laughs> right? Well, so this wasn't even the first Christmas horror movie, but it became one of the most controversial because the advertising campaign chose to air television commercials around like family friendly shows. Oh yikes! Like Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> Okay. And, and during a weekend NFL football game. Oh. Um, and the movie poster, which you just saw, uh-huh. was up like everywhere. Yeah. And it would give the impression that Santa himself was a killer. Yeah. So obviously traumatizing to children. <laughs> yeah. So concerned hit- citizens, <laughs> concerned citizens held protests outside of theaters in Milwaukee and New York City. And a TV station pulled the commercials off in Albany. Um, the Boston Globe discontinued the mo- movie's newspaper advertisement and movie theaters in Montana refused to ever show the film. Wow. Um, film critics gave it two thumbs down. <laughs> Not good. I feel like for a, a horror movie, though, like... That's a good... Th- well, it says today, Silent Night, Deadly Night has a bit of a cult following. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. It, it makes me kind of want to watch it, yeah. I'll be honest. I'm like, damn, like, I want to see that. Um... That's one of those movies you watch in college with a bunch of people and like, yes, think you're cultured. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you ever seen that? Uh, I didn't fucking think you did. <laughs> I have. It's like an underground thing. Yeah, I know all the words. Watched it every day when I was six <laughs> years old. <laughs> I know all the words to Silent Night, Deadly Night. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, I'm not going to go into this one, but I just want you to know that number 10 is Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. Got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, you know. I briefly know about that. Well, Mr. all it is Hanky is, yeah, he's just the poo. Christmas poop. <laughs> <laughs> and they wanted to take that off. Um, because, it's from South Park, though. Well, like, and they said that that um, that he was a stolen idea. That oh. the creator of the Ren and Stimpy show claimed that the idea was stolen from his animated creation, Nutty the Friendly Dump. <laughs> not gonna go into that i forgot about this this is good <laughs> okay however a spokesperson for comedy central stated that the father of the show's creator of one of the show's creators trey parker came up with the idea years ago when he was training trey to be toilet trained <laughs> he was came up with mr hanky the christmas poop. <laughs> oh which is hilarious to me maybe i should use that for ollie yeah we don't name this nutty the friendly dog. <laughs> you either use Christmas poo or friendly dumper. I have to? I, d- I just think you should. For Ollie or for the episode? For me. <laughs> okay. No. For Ollie. For me. Um, the next one is the Joe Boxer underwear commercial. This was in 2013. Do you remember this? Mm-mm. So in November 2013, Kmart released a television commercial for its Joe Boxer underwear. Uh. And it begins with six men in tuxedos standing in front of a table and they're ringing bells. They put the bells down. The table is pulled away, revealing that the men are in boxer shorts. The men then perform a bell ringing rendition of Jingle Bells, Bali squatting down a bit and shaking their hips. Oh, my God. Known by some as the Jingle Balls commercial. (laughs) It became a viral hit. Most people found it humorous, but the TV ad also received its fair share of criticism. Words used to describe the commercial included disgusting, distasteful, inappropriate, sick, demented, ridiculous, shameful, and desperate. And there was some debate on Kmart's Facebook page as to what exactly they were ringing. (laughs) Listen, Kmart... Was fucking savage because <laughs> really? they had aren't they another... close most places they are all of them they are that's a and bummer. it's such a shame yeah because one they used to have little Caesars in them oh <laughs> that God. was delicious two mm-hmm. they had another commercial mm-hmm. where they could they were trying to get people to ship pants mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they were like I just ship my pants <laughs> I ship my pants <laughs> I can ship my pants <laughs> she just shipped her pants. <laughs> I shit my pants. <laughs> it's ah, like funny. fucking genius. That's really good. Damn, everyone was sleeping on Kmart. They really were. God. Okay, so the Starbucks Cup happened in 2015, yep. and then in 2019 we have the Trump Home Alone Christmas controversy. Home Alone Two. Okay. So in 2019, many discovered that CBC in Canada had cut Donald Trump's brief cameo appearance in its broadcast of Home Alone Two: Lost in New York. Oh no. <laughs> the president joked about it. His son called it pathetic, and others claimed political bias and censorship. No, oh, no. <laughs> but according to the CBC, they cut the scene in 2014, well before Trump ever declared uh-huh. his pre- his candidacy for president. Apparently, they edited out the scene and others to make time for the TV slot, which they do in a lot of movies. Yep. If there, it's not an important scene. Yep. To the fucking plot. So the edit did not appear to be politically motivated. Um, and that's that. <laughs> that one. Which I think is really funny that they took it and they were like, oh, Canada's cutting me out of home alone. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> like, you don't need any more TV time. You're no, fine. You're, okay? In Canada you're, even. You're fired. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> Sir. it's not even here. Like, are you really mad? Do you think it was politically biased? Did, they can't vote for you, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> You idiot. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, so we'll you not see too. you next week because we'll be can- canceled along with Christmas. <laughs> no. No, we don't care. That is not a politically charged statement. That is how I feel about that man I as agree. a human being. I agree. I agree. But we <laughs> people don't know that about us. They what? Think it, they think <laughs> it means that we hate everyone. No. Yeah. That man. That's what I'm saying. I take him out of all home alone. <laughs> take I him said. out of all homes. <laughs> yes. Oh. So anyway, <laughs> um, another thing that I put on our 
Instagram. I don't know what's going on, but like I can't see these results. Instagram and Facebook are having some glitches. So if you're trying to get into the Fangens page right now, I'm having some issues allowing people in. Also, I've mm-hmm. got my mods and my admins trying to work with me. It's something's going on. So yeah. So I put something up on our story that was like, I want to hear, we want to hear your holiday hot takes. Um, And the only way I can see your responses is if they are short enough and in our notifications. Oh, damn. So I may not read them correctly. Yeah. um, Or get to all of them, but we're just like going to rapid fire through some of these. Okay. Um, So this one says Thanksgiving. Do you guys know what, do you know what a hot take is? This is just like <laughs> I thought you um, said hot cake. And I was like <laughs> no, <a> pancake. No, no. <laughs> no, a hot take is like um, it's kind Something of like a controversial, yeah, yeah unpopular yeah. opinion ish. Sure, okay, sure, sure. So it says Thanksgiving is the most pointless goddamn holiday ever. Genuinely despise it. <laughs> I knew Sierra wasn't gonna like that right one. Right when I took a drink, are you fucking? <laughs> and this has nothing to do with Christopher Columbus. I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So don't even think I'm simping for him because I am not. <laughs> no, fuck that guy. I fucking love mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so how dare you? And also, stuffing is delicious. <laughs> Everything that's created food wise on that holiday should be a staple in our diet. All the time? Monthly, at least. Oh, my gosh. There's so much sodium. Oh, <laughs> so much sodium. I, I have a sodium deficiency. That might be why I like it so <laughs> Okay, much. fair enough. Okay, here's another one. Hello from Canada. I like the holidays to spend time with loved ones, not the traditions. I agree. I agree. That's, that's how I feel. Mm-hmm. It makes me upset sometimes. That's why I get stressed around the holidays. I feel like there's a lot of pressure yep. to do so many things yep. and stick with traditions. And I'm like, I'm just here for a good time, man. Like, oh, This person also says, as a member of the December baby slash New Year's Eve baby club, oh, it's not all that great. No. As someone who has a child whose birthday is two days after mm-hmm. Christmas, yeah. it is rough. And like, it they're is. so, okay. So there's um, a lot of Sag Capricorn men in my life. Shane's birthday is at the beginning of December. Yep. My brother-in-law, his birthday is um, December 18th. Mm-hmm. My dad is the 22nd. Shane's dad is the 26th. Damn. Ollie's is the 27th. <laughs> That's a lot. I know. My grandpa's is the 26th. That's a but lot. I feel bad for them. They get the, because yeah. it's like they get, not that it should be about presents, but you know, got to get lumped right. in with like, well, you got your Christmas presents well, and your and birthday Well, and even presents. like if you wanted to do some kind of like birthday thing, people are always traveling yes. and with their family. And so it's hard it's to get people. It's a hectic time of year. Yeah. It's hard to go out to eat because yeah. God, everything is crazy. Trust yeah. me, as a former server, this is like the craziest time from like the beginning of November-ish around Black Friday mm-hmm. to that area. That is the end of November. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and middle, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay. Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. It's always busy. Forget it. <laughs> like February is like insane. I thought you were starting at February. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. So uh, just because you have yeah. Christmas shopping and then you have Christmas gift cards mm. and it's just fucking wild. Well, it's also a lot of pressure like as a parent to make the birthday special, but also make the holiday special. Right. And it's just, I find it very um like... I, I feel very stuck. Oh, I, and I, I understand. don't know what to do. Because people have asked me, like, what are you doing for Ollie's birthday? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm don't still wiped I, out from the holidays. I don't think I'm going to tell anyone. I think we're just going to have it. <laughs> yes. I think he's just going to turn three and we're just going to keep it moving. That's a good idea. It's kind of <laughs> what you know. did for two. I mean, it was well, COVID. Well, two but, was during COVID. So I was still. grateful because I didn't have to worry about yes. planning something. So was I but, for Noah's birthday. <laughs> yeah. Um, New Year's Eve is much better than Christmas. That's an interesting, I never do anything for New Year's Eve, so I can't say, mm-hmm. like, I don't, I, last New Year's Eve, I literally, well, the past, like, three or four, I've literally sat at my home. Yeah. And not done anything. Yeah. Watched a ball drop in my living room by myself. Yeah, I haven't. Or, I think we slept through the ball dropping last yeah. year. I don't think we even stayed up till midnight last year. Um. Oh, this one's so sad. Sometimes I really wish my family wasn't broken during this time of year. Oh, mm. I feel that. I understand. It's yeah. hard. We've had, uh, I've had, you know, sibling issues and that was hard around the holiday. Yeah. Because you want to do all the same things, but it's tough being around in a room with that person. Yeah. I love her now though. So we or worked it out. Or if you are in a room without someone because. Yeah. 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 Very much so. Schedule's not matching up or distance. And, and coming from, uh, as a person with, um, 
divorced families and then also being a child who has two separate like families yeah. to go it's tough yeah. it's very difficult yeah you want to spend your whole day with certain people and then you have to split time with everybody and it's like right when you get to having fun at a place you got to be whisked to the next place and it's yeah. tough that is a lot mm -hmm. ooh 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 this one hits ooh. It says holiday gatherings aren't meant for family to comment on your body Ooh. For sure. Yeah. For sure. We've had that. We've both had that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people feel so entitled to speak about how someone else looks. Looks in any way. In a, um, like, anything other than complimentary. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. It, criticizing? Mm -hmm. Criti criticism? What's the word I'm looking for? Critique? Critiquing. Yeah. Like, what is... I, that is so fucking frustrating to me. Like, I'm not being graded. No. I'm existing. Yeah, Can you chill? Yeah. So gross. That is gross. I've recently been not wearing makeup to family functions, and I've had a couple of family members say things, and I'm like, why? Why, did, yeah. why do you give a shit? Yeah. That I'm not wearing... Like, I'm tired. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't want to put it on. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. You're not wearing makeup? Right. They, or of if course they're men. <laughs> so. But if someone's men wear makeup. No, no, no. I'm just saying, of course, that it's them that are saying the oh, things. Oh, that, that are don't. making the yeah. comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like, especially during this time of year, people's bodies fluctuate. And mm -hmm. you're wearing different clothes than you would wear before. So, like, right. you can't always tell how someone's body looks in clothes. And if you're assuming, like, I, I don't get the point of looking at someone to say a judgment yeah i was i'll be honest i was stressed about that after because I, I had a one month old for thanksgiving and i was just like stressing trying to find mm -hmm. flattering looking outfits and then i was like why do I, why am i caring and it's because i like don't want to be judged and i just had a baby yep like of course my body's going to be different but it's like oh you have to look i just wanted to look nice so nobody said anything yep yep weird yeah so sad mm -hmm. we'll do like two more okay Christmas music is annoying as hell. Yes. Just give me an instrumental. Yes. Oh, my God. Trans-Siberian uh, Orchestra, I will fuck with that shit all day. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so good. And I've seen them in concert a couple times. I want to go. It's so good. Yeah. It is so good. They put on an amazing show. That Christmas music, I can fucking listen Slaps. to all day. Yeah. I don't like shit where they sing, <laughs> except for I, Mariah Carey. That's my only one. I like stuff that I can like tune out, and it's holiday esque. And so if I tune in, I'm like, oh yeah, that's jolly. <laughs> but <laughs> like, sometimes I really want to jam hard to like the classics. Um, just, but otherwise, have you ever listened to Christmas trap music? I think I've had you. <laughs> okay, well, if I was, it's with you. Yep. But um, I listen to holiday jazz. And oh, that's it's good. Super good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I like love an, an instrumental. instrumental. Yeah, but it's like upbeat. Ever since my dad came in and I was listening to Christmas piano music and he told me he felt like he was in a funeral home, <laughs> I've switched to <laughs> holiday <laughs> jazz. There you go. Okay. You got to listen to Trance Up Here in Orchestra. I'm telling you that. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes my kids get like real freaking jacked on music and I oh, it's, you got to slow it down. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> I got to keep it jazz because then it, they can't predict it and so yeah. they don't get wild. <laughs> This person, I feel like this is an interesting one to end on. Okay. It says, I love the days leading up to it way more than the special day itself. Oh, I think I agree. I agree. I feel like calling it a, the holiday season. Yeah. Like, one, it encompasses more than just one holiday, more than just Christmas. It encompasses all of the holidays that happen um, in between. Right. But I also feel like there's so many events that happen in that time. Like, I'll be honest, the shopping, I think my the cookie favorite baking. part of my favorite like holiday ish yeah. is not even leading up to it. It's the time from Christmas to New Year's. Yeah, I love that week. I don't know why. That it feels like weird space and time. Yeah, because it just feels like it's um, nothing. Yeah, you're just like floating in nothingness, but it's not. Yeah. You're not expected to do anything. Right. It's like we're. It's the end of the holidays, and then yeah. you have like you're I don't just know. waiting for the end. You're just <laughs> waiting for the new year, but nothing this is expected one's done. of you. We've got a couple days left, but we got nothing to do, so we're <laughs> yes. just here. We're it's just like the last existing. half hour of work. <laughs> I fucking love it. Yeah. I don't know why. It's always just like so chill to me. It yeah. feels very like no uh, no expectations. Yes, 
Just we like, love the bar on the yeah, floor. I like to keep my bar so low. Please, for the love of God. Yeah. Yeah. So this little quiz I have is called Let's Fight About These 13 Controversial Quis- Cri- Christmas-, <laughs> Christmas Questions. That is a tough thing to say. I think this is just like a fun little thing. Let's yeah. do it. So it's got what's the correct choice and then you pick you, what you think and it shows you like how many people agreed with that answer Ooh, or disagreed. Play along with us, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. So what is the correct choice for a Christmas tree? Real or artificial? Well, I'm going to pick artificial Same. because I'm allergic to pine, I just found out. Yes. Um, when we were prepping for our <laughs> live so show, bad. Um, we were at Rachel's studio, Gather, um, in Akron, and I was moving some of the Christmas trees, and she had real Christmas trees for a shoot that she had there, and I started breaking out in hives. So yeah. I'm allergic to pine. I would love a real Christmas tree, but they're also a lot of fucking no. work. I see. I grew up always having a real Christmas tree. You did? We always had a real one. I just imagined in your old house Mm -hmm. on the east side. Yep. Having a real tree. Yep. With colored lights. Yep. Wow. We always had colored lights and we always had a real tree and I fucking hate it. (laughs) Yeah, it was in your living room. Yes. Yep. Um, But it's a lot of pine needles fall a lot and so it makes a mess. Um, And then there's like water that you have to keep around the base and like fill it and sometimes it sloshes and mm-hmm. it's just kind of, gr- I don't know. I don't like a real tree. Yeah. The sap is sticky. So yep. things are then like if you put ornaments on and you're sticky for the mess. whole day. I don't know. Yeah. But I am in the minority because 53% of people say they prefer a real tree and 47% say Could you say imagine the bugs you just brought into your house? That's what I'm, I don't like, I don't like forestry in my house. <laughs> I have a literal forest in my house. I know you do. He's a person, though. He is a person. And he's so cute. And he's doing this thing where he fake eats food now. <laughs> like, he comes up. They've got a little kitchen in our kitchen. Yeah. And so he has, like, this fake food. And he brings it to me. And I pretend to eat it. And I go, oh, that's good. Thank you. And I hand it back to him. And he goes, nom, 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 nom. Oh. And it's so <laughs> fucking cute. I love, like, we're getting, Sawyer's almost two months old. And I just love when they start doing new things mm-hmm. she's found her hands oh. and she'll just stare at them and now she started like sucking on her fingers and i'm like i wait till she does it <laughs> also i heard her giggle for the first oh. time and it like a meaningful she was doing it at Corey, and i was like is she fucking laughing at you <laughs> i've been trying to get her laugh for so long i'm not supposed to laugh at you dad comes home and she's like freaking giggle mcgee <laughs> <laughs> okay so which are better white lights or colorful lights i prefer White lights. Me too. I'm a white light person all day. I can't stand colorful lights. I don't mind them, but they give me like old school vibes. Me too. It feels very 70s retro and I'm not, uh, that's not my vibe. I'm not against it, but I prefer the white lights. Me too. Um, I'm a a classy modern looking uh, kind of thing. Shane put these lights on the tree and he like presented them to me the other day. He's like, he's not going to hear this. I know, but he presented (laughs) them to me the other day and they're like, orange uh, and he's like what do you think and i'm like i think it looks like halloween on your tree <laughs> and he's like i thought it added a warmthness and i'm like yeah of Hall- october <laughs> halloween <laughs> yeah but he's like i think it reminds me of like when i was a kid and i would fall Colorful asleep light. like that was like yeah. the color and i'm like honey that was that was nicotine <laughs> <laughs> reflecting <laughs> off the walls <laughs> you <laughs> You can't with dreams of nicotine <laughs> floating through my head. <laughs> um, okay, so white lights, we are in the majority. 60% okay, versus 40%. You really just, do you like big bulbs or litter? <laughs> I little, like big bulbs. bulbs I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> These big guys or the little guys? I, um, okay, if I'm going to do colored lights, it's the big guys. Fuck a big bulb. I can't. <laughs> But if it's white lights, maybe it's because I never do color colored bulbs. Yeah, I like a white small bulb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like a little white bulb. But if I'm gonna do a colored bulb, I like a big bulb. I like a big bulb. I, I like, like a, a little, little bulb. <laughs> <laughs> like a shiny bulb. I like a matte bulb. <laughs> okay, so we are in the way. Eighty five percent of people said they like little bulbs. Only fifteen oh, wow. percent prefer big bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> when is the right time to open presents there's four answers okay christmas eve christmas morning christmas night or spread them out i feel so weird if anyone opens them christmas night yeah what are you doing <laughs> how <laughs> patient are you <laughs> i can't we uh, i don't know we, i've so never so we we have always celebrated christmas on, on christmas, christmas eve. eve yes but like our 
our immediate families, individual families, like parents and siblings, mm-hmm. would be Christmas morning. Yeah. And then we would just have a dinner Christmas day. And like I said, I'm a I'm a child of divorce, so mine were always spread out because yep. I would have grandmas on one side of the family yep. at Christmas Eve, and then I'd do moms in the mornings, dads in the afternoon, and then I would do grandmas at night on Christmas Day. So I always, it was yeah. very spread out for me. But hmm. I would prefer to do it Christmas morning. So I would say I like that we do our extended family Christmas Eve. Yeah. And it's uh, nice. Yeah. And then immediate Christmas morning. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. I swallowed hard. What did you press? Christmas morning. Okay. Okay. 76% said Christmas morning. Okay. Then 12% sense. on Christmas Eve. 10% said to spread them out. Only 2% said Christmas night. They were like, absolutely not. What belongs on top of your tree? A star or an angel? Um, uh, we, I grew up with an angel. So on did the I. Tree, but I prefer a star. Me too. My angel was like, <laughs> our, and it creeped me the fuck out. Our angel was dusty and yes, busted. It was so busted. Mm-hmm. Put a better angel. <laughs> Why we yeah. only got, mm, I have a star now and I love the star. 78% said a star. So I think a, an yeah. angel is a thing of the past. Yeah. And it looks weird up there. Mm-hmm. I feel like a star really gives the tree a good like pointed look. Yeah. An angel's just like. <laughs> I think ours had was like holding candles, but like they were like pitchforks. Did almost. we have the same angel? Maybe. I think we had the same angel. She was kind of crinkly if you touched her. Yes. She had Very. a cone on the inside. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we had the same angel. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, our moms are friends. We it's That's a very true. good. They probably our got dads it as are like, brothers and our moms are friends. Yeah, <laughs> they probably got it as like a present from probably. somebody. Probably. What do you call this classic gift exchange? Do you call it a Yankee swap or a white elephant? I've never heard Yankee swap Me in either. my life. Me neither. White but elephant. Hot white take. Elephant. I don't think I hate gift exchanges. Me too. I think they're just a waste. Me too. I, I get it like it's a fun thing. I like a white elephant over just like a random gift exchange yes. because it's like no one had to buy anything and so you're not adding any additional stuff to your house. You're just trading what you were keeping in right. your house. But Here's a yeah. hot take. I hate when our family <laughs> does gift card exchanges. You don't like the gift card exchange? It seems... I mean, I get it's fun, but at the same time, I'm like, I could just go out and buy myself a twenty dollar gift card. I, yeah, you know what true. I mean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get that it's fun. Yeah, but I wish that we did something See, like a white a, elephant. Like I think a it's... gift card. Well, maybe we. Well, we're not doing shit for I know. Christmas <laughs> this year. <laughs> I wish we would just like bring something from home. Yeah, yeah. Because I think that Let's would be plan it funnier. With the cousins. Fuck yes, else. that's what I think. Let's okay. do that. Because I'm gonna be sad this Christmas for other reasons. Mm-hmm. So, when is it okay to start playing Christmas music after Halloween? After Thanksgiving. Labor Day. Only in December. Oh. All year long. <laughs> all year long. <laughs> You're an all year longer? I'm going to say after Thanksgiving because okay. I can't stand it, but I'm going to say after Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving wins at 43%. All year long is 6%. <laughs> I do start in September. 9% for after Halloween and 42% only in December. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. When opening presents in a group, do you go one at a time or all at once? We do one at a time. So we, like for Corey's family, we used to do one at a time. And there's so fucking many of us now yep. that we have to all do all at once. But yep. it's tough because it's like you want to say thank you. And then, mm-hmm. but it's Chris. Eh. It was. I, I guess, like one at a time. Yeah. But it depends on how time. big your family is, I think. Right. Because that could fucking really take a while. Yep. And my mom, I remember she used to be like, guys, go one at a time so that she could watch each of us. Uh-huh. My sister was like. <laughs> she literally <laughs> was Johnny from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to say one at a time. That wins at 65%. Yeah. All at once is 35%. How do you feel about family Christmas letters? What the fuck is that? That's what we talked about. <laughs> um, it, Where you, is it a, it's the family Christmas letter that goes out and you tell the people about your year. Remember? Oh, so it says, are they, do you think they're sweet or are they tacky? I think they're I think that they if you do it now it's tacky but I think back in the day before social media yeah. it was like kind of yeah, necessary in sure a way. but nowadays it's like I yeah. fucking know all about you yeah Crystal from Tennessee I love that you chose <laughs> that, name. that name welcome <laughs> I'm gonna say they're tacky oh it's a 50 50 split oh damn <laughs> shit well um does harry potter mo- do harry potter movies count as christmas movies no. no i love harry potter but no 
I would say they're more Halloween, if anything. It says, no, we need to stop this is 59%. Yes. Yeah, I would say Halloween. Over. They're comfort movies. And I think you want to watch comfort movies this time of year. So like that makes sense. But yeah. like it's not a Christmas movie. Yep. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. No, it is not. <laughs> And finally, when should Christmas decorations come down? When you have time. Right after Christmas or leave them up for at least a few weeks, you Scrooge. Leave I leave up mine up weeks, until February. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not going out there when it's freaking cold to no. take them back down. No, I don't give a shit. I'm talking about the inside ones. My tree stays up till oh. at least the middle of February. Oh. It makes me feel good. And I don't put it up until about a week before Christmas. It, so I want it up a little bit longer. It depends. Because like, we'll put ours up sometimes before Thanksgiving. Yeah. But... If I'm starting to feel claustrophobic mm-hmm. from all of the decorations, I'll just like take it down as soon as possible. Well, our- Otherwise, if I'm just feeling um, depressed, <laughs> I'll leave it up a little while longer. Yep. Our only decoration is a tree. So yeah. that's, I mean, it doesn't really take up a lot of room. I'm going to say leave it up. Oh, and it gets 70%. Woohoo. All right. That's were you guys I'm- with us or were you different? Us. Let us know. But be nice Let's about do. it because we are fr- and we fragile. He is fragile. <laughs> Um, that is all we have for Christmas this yeah. week. We hope you guys have a wonderful holiday, um, and safe travels if you're traveling. Um, and be gentle with yourself if you're not spending it with anyone, and you're or you're just having a rough time this season. You're not alone in yeah. that. So yeah, um, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you. We appreciate you. Um, and we will see you next week. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're not going to say that's the that? <laughs> oh, that's the that on Christmas controversies. All right. We're out. Goodbye. <laughs> I felt like that was not the order. <laughs>